Hi and welcome Aquarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for June 2020. Now it is a general reading, so please trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more great content from me. And uh, for those of you that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome, love your support. I will just say we recently hit a milestone of 2 million views on my channel and a a lot of that comes down to you guys and girls supporting my channel. So big thank you. Very appreciative from me to you. And uh, if you do regularly follow my channel and not yet subscribed, I do suggest that you hit the uh, notification bell, hit the subscribe button to make sure my videos are coming through to you in your feed. And uh, if you want to get all of any of my video readings on MP3 audio download, you can do so for free now. The link's going to pop up on this video as well as be in the description box below takes less than a minute to download to your mobile, your favourite device, if you want to listen to the guidance in this reading or any of the other readings during the month. All right, let's get started with your reading. And um, if you're wondering in what order the videos are coming out, it's those videos with the highest numbers of views and likes come out first, based on the video's release, which would have been the monthlies, yeah? So if you want your video to come out first, make sure you watch them and hit that like button. All right. Aquarius, we're going to dive straight into predictions with the Angel Tarot. And let's see what you need to know. So first up, we're having a look at the situation. You've got the uh, Two of Water, which is all about a relationship growing closer. Um, possible forgiveness, resolution of conflict, if you've been going through that with your partner your loved one. Um, it kind of speaks very much to your intimate relationships. All right, let's have a look at anything challenging you right now. You got the five of air and it pretends to making an unwise choice and it says to review everyone's motives and their intentions. So you may have recently made a choice or a decision that hasn't worked out quite so well for you. I mean, in those cases, it's not about beating yourself up it's very much about learning the lesson from it all right let's have a look at the basis of the situation you got the queen of air if you have a look at this she's holding a crystal ball and staring quite intently into it it's all about objective decision making making taking your time to make decisions it may pretend that you've got a major decision to make coming up um, either happening in your life or coming towards towards you all right let's have a look at the recent past you got the page of air, a lot of air energy coming out, yeah? Challenging information delivered without tact. Uh, it's very much when that happens is to not shoot the messenger, but to hear the message. Um, also, always put healthy boundaries in place with people that don't, not speaking to you in the right way or respecting you. Um, it can be possible delays to your plans, blockages going on. It is sitting in the recent past position though. All right, let's have a look at the present. You got the eight of uh, earth, which is all about your skilled work, the work, that, how you apply yourself, being rewarded, particularly monetarily. Um, it could also pretend that you might want to increase your skills, go back and study something new. If you've been thinking about that, it's a big yes from the universe. Always a conscious choice. All right, let's have a look at the near future. Oh, this is gorgeous. You got that ace of earth, the inflow of abundance, promising new business ventures, contract coming your way. I'm pretty sure you pulled this or indications of new opportunities coming your way in your monthly uh, for June. And if you've been waiting on something, even if it's a contract or a sale of an asset, it pretends to it coming in. All right, this is your energy in the situation. Wow. You got the three of air and it's saying, uh, great sadness, a time to forgive yourself and others. So it may be related. It's only got, it's not gonna affect everyone. It may be related to the unwise choice. Mm-hmm. Unless you're experiencing any loss at this time. All right, let's have a look at the energy of others around you. Your Archangel Michael the Emperor, it's all about applying discipline, structure and logic to what you're doing, willpower. So if you're working with others, it's about you staying focused, being very professional, very structured in what you're doing. Um, it speaks specifically to your career. It's going to help you push forward. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. This is beautiful. 
your Archangel Gabriel, um, if you have a look at this, holding a baby in its arms in terms of the Archangel. And it's all about giving birth to your dreams, lavishing abundance on your dreams, going after what it is you want. All right, let's have a look at the outcome. you got King of Air, more air energy. It's about speaking your mind with confidence, being a leader. Speak specifically to your career, I've got to say. Stepping up for self, being really confident. All right, let's have a look at your general energies. So for your general energies, we're going to pull an opening energy from the Cosmic Activation of the Soul Oracle by uh, Nari Anastasia, if I can say that correctly, which is uh, published by... Uh, Rockpool Publishing. So if you're interested in like this deck, you can check it out below in the description. The link's in there. Mm, this is gorgeous. You pull gratitude. Have a look at the light that's coming off her, all around her. Um, the heart chakra is really highlighted, as is the higher states of the consciousness, the crown chakra going off. Let's pull you up and get the uh, guidance. It says Aquarius. If we could see the miracle of a single flower clearly, our whole life would change, Buddha. This oracle comes to remind you of, your, of the absolute magnificence of the beautiful world we live in. To truly appreciate it is to really open up your heart and mind to the magic of nature and the divine matrix of which we're all a part. When you are in a space of gratitude, you are in the space of love and acceptance of what is. There is a deep appreciation of the moment which allows walls of resistance to break away from within you. And breaking through walls of resistance allows you to address fears which were ultimately formed by you to keep pain out. By building walls around your heart, you are actually keeping pain in and stopping your soul from evolving. Gratitude holds a high vibration that can literally break through the strongest, most stubborn walls. Gratitude is one of the highest forms of love that you can bestow upon another. And when you're grateful, you radiate love. And the more love you radiate, the more love is reflected back to you. Being in this space of awe and gratitude literally opens portals to higher frequency of love to guide you. And there is much to be grateful for, dear one. There are numerous trees, planets, stars, flowers, beautiful sunsets, snowflakes, and reflecting water drops. Tapping into any one of these beautiful cosmic creations allows us to tap into the universal consciousness of pure love. Allow gratitude to fill your entire being. Immerse yourself with this feeling of wonder and awe. This is the first step to inner transformation directly related to your heart chakra. And there's an affirmation here which says, I am open to universal love that shines through the miracles of life all around me. Very beautiful. I have to say, um, one of my favorite things, follow me on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram. I take you on my hikes, my walks, share a lot of fitness and health tips over there. But one of the things I do regularly is get out in nature and have this beautiful spot I go to, which is in a bird sanctuary, right? It's surrounded by water and lakes. But just getting out there, and the first part of the walk is often the most beautiful, right? Because all the tiny birds are in that section of the walk. It's little uh, splendid blue wrens, and you can just hear them all like, chirping away and the sun comes through there's often butterflies and dragonflies and it's just so amazing mm -hmm. just lights your soul up okay in terms of your general energies we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus for the month with the nature's whispers oracle and then pull you lots of clarifiers so it can be opportunities challenges coming your way things you need to work on around self oh this is gorgeous You've got laughter, which is bringing more lightheartedness into your life, more joy, more fun, doing some fun activities that light you up. Oh, geez, that one flew across the room. You've got seek beauty. By the way, it's number 44, which is an angelic number. The angel's speaking directly to you. So it can mean doing things that pamper self, nurture self. It can mean beautifying your home. Um, creating an oasis at home. You've also got the message there's a need to heighten your vitality, which is your chi energy, your solar plexus, your life force energy. Oh, there's 
so flying out. Wow, two messages about being lighthearted. Yeah, maintain your, your childlike spirit. This is your inner child. Your sense of fun, adventure, freedom. There's a lot of freedom in that card. Uh, your childlike spirit, in terms of your inner child, your innovation, your creativity as well, tapping into those kind of things. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the energy oracle. So first up, we're having a look at laughter. What is it Aquarius needs to know? Oh, flipping out. You have two here. You've got the garden and the gate, which is, if you have a look at this, she's either pondering her next steps, deep in contemplation, or holding herself back from life. Often what you want is on the other side of that gate, which means you need to take risks, be daring, and open the door. Mm-hmm. Push yourself through it. Always a conscious choice. You've also got the door to value opening. Money flying through the door. The fact you've got the gate sitting right next to it, if it's related to your career and you're holding yourself back or the path you want to follow, you're going to need to open that gate to open the door to value. Particularly if you want to try something new. You've also got your throat chakra here, which is speaking your truth, speaking up for self, expressing your feelings, your thoughts, your ideas. You've got an attachment here, holding yourself stuck, stuck holding yourself back itself. It's self, Aquarius, yeah? Taking off a mask, which is seeing the truth in situations in your life. Wherever there's resistance or wherever you've not got any movement going and you want movement happening in your life, uh, you've got to ask yourself, what's holding me back? What am I saying to myself? What am I recycling through that's holding me stuck? All right, let's have a look at Seek Beauty. Wow. Again, you've got the message to be grateful and appreciative, be present. Stop to pause and smell the roses. Take some time for self to breathe. And you've got this beautiful, happy family around you. So gorgeous, supporting you, connecting with you. And our family can take all different forms. It can be our soul tribe, our friendships. Wow, again, you've got the crown chakra highlighted. Spirit's saying you need to get into your higher states of consciousness. Um, when you work from your higher states of consciousness, which is your heart chakra up, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, third eye chakra, which is right here, and your crown chakra, which is your connection to the divine, uh, versus your lower chakras, which is like your root chakra and your sacral chakra, where all your worry and anxiety goes on, you can very much elevate your vibration, connect into your higher states of consciousness, see things a lot more clearly. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at heighten your vitality. Clear message for Aquarius. Thank you. You got man holding a coin. So guys, this can be you coming into your money. Girls, this can be somebody that um, you're connecting with, represents a certain person in your life. Guys, it can mean that if you want to create more prosperity in your life, you look, need to look after your health and your well-being, your diet, your fitness, your exercise, your sleep. Right next to that, you've got financial constraints. So some of you may be worrying about your finances. It's directly related to daughter value opening. In between that, you've got appreciation. So what does that mean? So... Often when appreciation comes out, if you're in a state of lack, like wanting things in your life materialistically that are not there yet, you can put a whole lot of pressure on and worry on yourself. It's about letting go of that. What else does Aquarius need to know? Hmm. you got a contract offer coming in. This is your third message, third or fourth message. Don't forget you've got quite a lot in your nine card spread it's definitely an opportunity coming your way it can be something you've been waiting on that's supposed to be settling as well sitting right next to your financial constraints which means there's certainly a resolution coming and you've got the door to uh, romance opening love coming through the door if you're looking for love all right let's pull you some guidance on the attachment and the spirit saying you just need to seek balance within self Emotional balance, physical balance, whatever you're saying to yourself in your mind, you need to bring yourself into balance. All right, let's have a look at financial constraints. 
any guidance there. Clear message for Aquarius. Thank you. Wow. Okay. You've got hostilities here. So I'm pretty sure this energy has been coming out for you for a couple of months now. So the man holding a coin can represent an actual person that's creating challenges in your life, whether you're a guy or a girl, um, directly related to finances. And you got thinking man. So a couple of messages. Guys, it's about being in your rational side, your masculine energy. Girls, this can represent an actual person that you're connecting with. Any other guidance on this, please? Mm. You've got the world, which signifies it can be the end of a difficult situation. It is going to resolve. It also means there's lots of opportunities, possibilities, different ways of looking at it to resolve any conflict with others as well. All right, let's have a look at maintain your childlike spirit. Wow, got a broken heart here. Um, for some of you that have gone through a rocky patch, I will say previously in the other readings, if you're brand new to my channel, but for those of you who've been watching the readings for a while, this energy has been coming out for you, which relates to an ex, and it's not going to affect everyone, right? So spirit saying, whatever you've gone through with this person, it is going to resolve. If you've still got some heartache or something that's in your heart space, it's saying just to be more lighthearted, bring some more joy, fun, adventure into your life. Mm. Because they're saying you've got cornucopia coming, success on every level, brand new beginnings, number 11. Prosperity, abundance, love, happiness, joy, it's that energy is available to you. Always a conscious choice on whether you're going to tap into it. And you got your uh, sacral chakra here, which is your emotions. So it's about balancing your emotions, sitting directly under broken heart. And you got the door to personal healing and happiness opening. So it's up to you, Aquarius, to open that door. Mm -hmm. For those of you that know you need to do some heart healing, releasing emotions, bringing yourself back into balance. Overall, there's not a lot that's significantly negative in your reading. You've got the door to value opening. If you're worrying about your money, Spirit's giving you so many messages here and in your knowing card spread to say that that's going to improve. We always co-create that, right? So it's always the effort we also make. Not going to drop in your lap. Certainly you can have unexpected opportunities come your way, but mostly it's the things you've been working on. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Have a look at this top row about laughter, holding yourself back a little bit. Door to value opening. Aquarius, I hope you're sitting down. You ready? You got Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Your prayers have been heard. They are being answered. Whatever's troubling you, Spirit's saying they're watching over you. All right, let's have a look at Seek Beauty. Your happy family, your higher states of consciousness. You got Kun Yin compassion, releasing harsh judgments about others and self. Um, that's often about putting yourself in the other person's shoes, particularly if you're having difficulties with someone, because often they're going through a lot of emotional trauma themselves. They may be projecting it back at you, reflecting it back to you. Um, often other people are hurting just as much, but we never really seem to see other person's um, pain that they're going through because we're so focused on our own, right? Um, the art of compassion will actually release yourself from their energy as well. Okay, let's have a look at raising your vitality, your contract, your daughter value opening, this energy that's here. Mm. You got May Eve cycles and rhythms. Very important to honor your emotions, the energy levels in your body. Take time out when you're feeling overly emotional or you're feeling a little bit drained. The spirit saying that. Uh, this is Rihanna Sorceress, but it's actually the Magician card in this deck, yeah? You're a magical person. You can create whatever it is you want to create in your life. You already have all the resources you need. Often the only thing holding us back is what we're saying to ourselves. Okay, let's have a look at maintain your childlike spirit, the door to personal healing and happiness opening. You've got your emotions are going off over here. You got Maui, Mother Earth, so it can mean protecting the environment, Mother Nature, Mother Earth. It's also very much about getting your feet on Mother Earth. 
to release any stress. Wow. Hand in hand, get near bodies of water. So all this, yeah, to rejuvenate yourself. Big message from spirit. Okay. Let's put some guidance with the crystal reading deck, which is a healing deck. I have a look at this top row. Be a miracle being in balance, sort of value opening. You got Libby and Gold Tech type, which means you're manifesting right now what you want in your life. Keep asking spirit for it. You also got a soulmate connection here, the lover's card, master teacher card in this deck. So either in your life or you're manifesting one. If you ask if that's what you've been asking for. All right, let's have a look at Seek Beauty, your happy family, being compassionate with others. Yeah. You got uh, the Awakening Crystal, another Master Teacher card in this deck, all about emotional healing going on right now with self and with others. And you've also got the Herkimer Diamond, all about your dreams, listening to the messages coming through in your dreams. You may get messages in your dreams that are going to help your path. Okay, let's have a look at height and your vitality, your contract, your daughter romance opening. Clear message. Thank you. You got spirit quartz music. So music can be very soothing and healing for you at this time, including guided meditations. There is a guided meditation playlist on my channel. I'll link it in here. Oh, my God, this is so funny. Wait till you see it. Um, I'll absolutely link it in because you've just pulled amethyst meditation hand in hand. Spirit saying to you the way in which to soothe your energies is to get on Mother feet on Mother Earth do some guided meditations yeah there's about eight nearly 80 in there now all you have to do is lay down listen be comfortable be nice and warm relax play them through a speaker if you can so you can absorb the sound therapies the binaural beats and just allow the uh, guided meditations to flow through to you some of them are very healing particularly if you need to do emotional healing pick those that relate to the heart chakra or releasing and letting go Okay, let's have a look at maintaining your childlike spirit, your cornucopia, your emotions, getting your feet on Mother Earth. Mm, wow. You got pink tourmaline forgiveness. Forgiveness needs to be applied to this situation, either to yourself or to the other person. Doesn't mean for, it doesn't mean um, forgiving what they've done. You can just release yourself from that energy if they've done something that hasn't been great. We're all, we always co-create, right? You chose that person. So <laughs> I, ha I have to be honest with you. One of the things that really gets my goat, and I'm Australian, right? So we say some funny things, is that when you actually label somebody else in their relationship as this, that, and the other, right? Well, you chose them, and at one point you loved them. When we label someone, it allows us to disassociate from them as a real person with feelings, yeah? They often go through just as much pain as you are. Mm-hmm. You've also got DFT, so some heart healing to be done, my darlings, with your heart chakra. Let's pull one more. Again, different decks, same message. You need to be compassionate with yourself and with others. At the bottom of the deck, you've got peace coming, solacite. There will be a renewal of peace in your world. Okay, let's pull you some guidance from the messenger oracle. I have to say, Aquarius, it's like spirit slapping you really hard right now. I hope you're listening. Love without condition, unconditional love towards others and self. Holding a beautiful butterfly in her hand, which represents new beginnings, transformation. And a need to embrace the masculine, your empowerment, your personal power, putting healthy boundaries in place with others, standing up for yourself, taking action. And know that you belong just as you are. You're gorgeous just as you are. You don't need to change anything about yourself to fit in with others, to be loved and accepted. If that's the case, you're probably not with the right person, dare I say. Uh, it's about valuing yourself. You don't need to change yourself either to fit in with friendships or cliques or groups. It's about loving all parts of self. And absolutely need to ground your energy to Mother Earth at this time. Big message through your whole reading. 
All right, it's where you're crowning energy from. The Sacred Powers Oracle by Anna Stark. And again, this one comes out from Rockpool Publishing. So links below if you like this one. Let's see what you need to know, Aquarius. Clear guidance. Thank you. Wow, beautiful. You've full protection, meaning you're divinely protected at this time. How could you not be when you've got this sitting on the table, dare I say? The miracle card. All right, let's pull you up the guidance. And if this is the first time you've watched one of my readings, the crowning energy can pull everything together. So stick around, don't disappear just yet. It says Aquarius, you are safe and protected, honour your integrity. Always prepared for battle, the knight offers security to those who are unable to help themselves. A symbol of honour, protection and integrity throughout history, the knights obeyed strict rules and codes of conduct, of virtue and faith. Previously, you may have been on the receiving end of some jealous comments, some gossip or corporate backstabbing, making you cautious around others. Honourable intentions are questioned now. Stay on guard. Sinister activities are happening behind the scenes. Oh, watch out for the hostilities, yeah? Take a firm approach. Your soul knows that you need protection. Know that you are supported with love and heavenly guidance. Spiritually, you may have felt under attack from others. Be aware of the impact of your own energy and other people's emotions in response. Do you thrive or do you involve yourself in drama? I've got something to say there. Right? If you're somebody that regularly involves yourself in drama, often you've grown up with drama. Right? It's been in your family, it's usually karmic. Uh, that's a learned behaviour, so watch that. It's important to remember that no matter how people react in any given circumstance, you can only control your actions, no one else's. Try not to take things personally. You are asked now to follow through and act with integrity. Be impeccable with your words, say what you mean and mean what you say. Right now the night is asking you to stand guard and be firm with your beliefs and actions. Complacency can be risky right now. So get all the facts before you act. Speak your truth in all matters of the heart. Have faith. You have the strength to get through any challenges you face right now. Your patience is being challenged. Focus on your energy and how you can improve and strengthen your state of being without compromising your integrity. That's being true to your own values, yeah? Show gratitude and be thankful for what you have in your life with humility and grace. There's a message about being grateful and appreciative. And there's an affirmation that says, Aquarius, I am safe. I know that I am protected as I walk my path each day. Beautiful, beautiful divine protection. Um, if you want extra protection, right, um, I'm very much into crystals. I don't know about you. So what am I wearing right now that's got protection in it? Um, if you have a look at that, I'm wearing green adventuring with black onyx. Black onyx is very much a protecting. Um, I'm also wearing... Amethyst with hematite. Hematite is another protective crystal. Around my neck, I've got moldavite, which is very ancient. Comes from a meteorite from the stars, dare I say. Um, you have to be watchful, mindful of that because if your vibration's not high enough, right, it can make you feel dizzy. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> my vibration's pretty high. Um, there's red garnet here, which looks brown, right, but it's got a deep, deep burgundy red in it. Um, these are all protective crystals. Um, you have stones. You've also got dragon's blood jasper, which is amazing. It's a mix of reds, earthy reds and greens. It only comes from Western Australia where I am. Um, you can also get bracelets in it, which are really amazing. Guy or girl, guys, you'll love the bracelets for dragon blood jasper. Um, yeah, that's some of the good ones to get. Mm -hmm. All right, my darlings, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, grab your free MP3 audio file of this reading if you want to listen to it again during the month on your favorite device. And for now, much love from me to you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.